Hi guys, it's Med by Health Hush. In today's topic, we'll be speaking about cholelithiasis. So by the name itself, here you can see chole, doko, lithiasis. Chole means gallbladder, doko means involvement of the bile duct, lithiasis means stones formation. So this basically means gold stones present inside the common bile duct. And these stones that have been migrated from the gallbladder or it can be stones that are formed inside the common bile duct. Let's move uh, to the etiology. Usually these gold stones are formed and they do pass through the common bile duct. But once in a while uh, when these stones are too large to pass through the common bile duct, they get stuck and they obstruct the common bile duct which will result in um, series of uh, problems which includes uh, con accumulation of bile inside and in return it will result in increasing of conjugated bilirubin, cholesterol, alkaline phosphatases inside the blood. So once there is an accumulation of all this stuff and increasing of conjugated bilirubin inside blood it will result in jaundice and also due to this accumulation of bile it will uh, so long-term accumulation of bile will result in um, infections and it can even cause acute pancreatitis and also ascending cholangitis so this is basically the pathophysiology and what is going on uh, with this disease let's move on to the clinical picture so usually these patients are asymptomatic and they are discovered by accident uh, when we see there is an elevation of alkaline phosphatases level in the blood. And also if the patients have symptoms, they usually have biliary type pain, intermittent jaundice, uh, jaundice of the skin uh, or the eyes and also the Murphy sign is also positive which means there is a delay of the breathing uh, during palpation of the gallbladder when he's on inhalation. So let's see what types of gallstones we have. We basically have two types. First type is cholesterol and cholesterol uh, type of gallstones are usually seen in patients with obesity, diabetes mellitus, multiparity, terminal ileal diseases, hyperlipidemia, estrogens, uh, people who take estrogens or oral contraceptive pills or uh, having a total parenteral nutrition. Next type is black pigment. Black pigment type um, usually occurs when there is hemolysis or cirrhosis in the patient. And these are the two types of cold stones. Let's see how we can diagnose colloidal lithiasis. So we have the basic uh, diagnostic methods, physical examination, ultrasonography, CT scan, endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography, which is also known as ERCP. So how do we treat this situation? Cholidical lithiasis, we do cholidical lithiotomy, which means removal of these gold stones that are present inside the common bile duct to remove this obstruction. So we have mainly three types. First method is using ERCP. Along with ERCP, if we find any stones, we would remove it. Also, also we have another method which is using laparoscopy. So laparoscopy with cholangiography. So we will do a small tiny incision in the abdomen and we will find the cystic duct. We will open it, go through it and get to the common bile duct. And if we find uh, stones inside it, okay, we can remove it. We will insert a tube with an inflatable balloon or which contains a tiny basket and we will use it to remove these stones inside it. So if this laparoscopic method does not work, if it is unsuccessful, we have another method which is open cholidocolithiotomy. So if this open method, in this open method, we would open the abdomen, find the common bile duct and remove the stones. So these are the three methods and usually after cholidocal lithiotomy, we would also do a cholecystectomy, which is to remove the gallbladder to prevent any future complications that might uh, occur to the patient. So that is basically cholidocal lithiasis and I hope you guys enjoyed and please don't forget to subscribe and like my video thank you